Hi everyone, it's been a while. My name is Mary from MadeForYouAll.com. Today, we've got something cool to share that will help you on making customization to your Shopify 2.0 website. Meet our software-friendly, enhanced Shopify UI elements generator tool. With this powerful tool, you can take your Shopify store customization to a whole new level without any coding knowledge. Let's dive in. First, we will head to our website and go to the Shopify tutorials and click on free tutorials. And you should see the Shopify UI generator tool right here. It would be nice if you can read the, the information that we have here so you'll be able to apply it to your website. But first, we need to sign in to take advantage of this free tool. So let's go click the account icon. For me, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. And we're going to go back to our website and then hit refresh. And you should have your own icon right here. And we're going to go scroll down. And you can see a Shopify UI elements generator tool here. So we have an option to set the location to product page page and even contact form so first we'll try the product page and how it works let's have a text long instead and then I'm going to change my label to my label and you can also set a character limit to this text box so for me I'm going to set 10 and when I type here in our field preview we can type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 0 and it will not let me type more than 10 characters. So that's how the character limit works. And we also can make this required. And for the product page, I want you to add the required script if you want it to be required. So let's add that. And I want to have it add required. So we separated the add required script because you can have multiple fields added to your product but you don't want this script to appear to every each one of them. If you have text packs or other fields like drop down select, just add the script to one of those fields and it should work to both as long as you put the required on each of it. So this only works on the product page only. And you can also have hide at checkout, which means that they cannot see the input on the cart. And we also added an easy instructions for you to follow. So for here, the instruction is to go to your admin page and we click the customize button and then we change the home page to the product and add the custom liquid block. So let's head over to our Shopify website. I'm just gonna copy this code right here. And from our website, we're gonna go to online store. And I just added this DOM team, the version 12. It's the latest version for me today. What we're gonna do is click customize. And then I'm gonna change home page to uh, products. And if you want this to apply to only specific product or only one product, I would suggest you create a product template and add the code to that template. I will include the link below for the easy to follow video tutorial. But for me, I'm going to use the default product template. And I'm going to go to the product information and then add a black called custom liquid. I'm going to paste the code right here. So control V to paste. And I can also drag this one to be placed anywhere. So I'm going to do it above the buy buttons. And we can see it here. Now let's go to our preview. So let's click this three dots here and then click view. And it's like one of the products and we should see the label here. So here when the customer just add to cart and then put anything in here, it should warn them since we had it on required. So it will not let them proceed unless they fill up this text box. But for me, I'm just going to do custom label. And since we had a character um, limit that we set right here is then, it won't let me add more characters. So I'm just going to let it be and then I'm going to do add to cart. So we should see our label right here added to our product information. And we're going to do view to cart. And I'm going to check out and we should see.
see it in our Shopify admin. So let's go check out. And I'm just going to type my email here and I'm going to have random address. And since I have Bogus Gateway payment testing, and we can just uh, type whatever here. Before and one, two, three. And then pay now. So it went true. So when we go to our admin website, so let's exit out in here. When we go to orders, we should have our new um, added order here. And we should see the the custom property that we added. So it should be in the product information below. So that's for product. So let's do the cart this time. I'm gonna go to cart page and I'm gonna have the checkbacks, which is usually the common thing that we added. And I put it and I agree to the following. And I'm just gonna copy this code in here we have an instructions for you to follow so let's go to our website and go to online store i'm going to click the three dots right here to open the code editor and then edit code and then i'm going to look for the section folder and open the main cart folder right here so the instruction is to add the code after this line of code so we're going to go Make a line and then control V to paste right here and then save. And we're going to preview our store. And we're going to go to one of our products and we should be able to provide something here and then add to cart and then view cart. And we should see this agree to the following. Since we have it on required, it should not let them check out unless they check this check box right here. So let's try that and see, it will not let them to proceed. If you click this one, it should go check out and it will not appear on your product right here, whatever they did. And let's try to check out and see what it shows on our Terrify admin. So let's do here and address is random. And we're going to go to our card payment and then pay now. Okay, so we're good. And we're going to go to our Shopify admin again and then click on orders. So this is the one that just went. The card attribute should appear here. So see, I agree to the following and say, yes, this is the additional detail on the card. So that is good for the cart and let's go to the contact form. I'm going to go to contact form and we're going to try the file uploader. And for my label, I'm just going to call this file and I'm going to do the image. This is the file type that the input will going to accept. Okay. And then here I'm going to make it as a required. And there's an instruction here that we can follow. And I'm just going to click that copy to clipboard. And we'll go to our website and we're going to go to online store. And I'm going to click this three dots here and edit code to open the code editor. Going to open the section folder in contact form. So the instruction is to place it in between this line of code, the form, and the end form. So we can replace it anywhere here. I'm just going to choose the like above the body or the comment area. So I'm just going to make a new line here and then control V to paste. And let's fix the code a little bit. And then click save. So let's go to our preview store and then go to our contact and we should see this field right here. I'm just going to put Mary here and I'm just going to use a dummy email actually. Um, so let's try without placing any um, file. So we're going to hit send and this should have this error to have the customer not to proceed until they provide the file. So I'm just going to add a logo here and then click send. 
and I've been doing this one so it asked me if I'm a robot that one and it's a mix okay let's go to our email and go to our inbox and then and read and we have this email right here and this is a base 64 file that you're going to receive since email does not let you do like image to image so what we're going to do here is you can still do this one but it's a little bit annoying i have not found a way to make it easier we might need to have an external database to save this one but that's going to be a different thing that we're going to do so we're just going to do with what we have right here so go all the way down and copy the code and right here so control c and i'm just going to open a new tab and let's place the code right here so yes that's how you do the, the image right here and then you can also like save it as an image so you could have it on your computer so for now this is what we get and I believe we tackled everything about this enhanced Shopify UI generator tool. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more Shopify tips, and share this video with your friends. Until next time, happy selling.